Okay, IED, this is going to be part uh, 2.1.3, part 3 for the selfie stick. And if you're using a Chromebook for this, y'all are probably about ready to throw it out the window. Uh, we're almost done. It's almost there. So just a couple of more assembly snaps with our fasteners to go. And then after that, we will have our selfie stick all put together. So take a deep breath and let's try to get through this one step at a time. We're going to take Ultimately, we're going to take these two pieces and we're going to fasten them up to uh, this piece over here. And I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to take this piece, this bracket, and I want to put it over on this side. So since this is not really meant to have any degrees of freedom, this isn't meant to rotate or do anything else, we're going to use the fasten mate. So we're going to use fasten mate. We're going to make sure that we have the center of this hole clicked. I'm not going to try to make the same mistake that I made last time. I want that mate to be up like this. I'm going to click there and then I'm going to click on the center of this hole here and it's going to come in flat and then I just flip it and that will actually put the bracket where it needs to be and it's in the right spot too. So I'm going to go ahead and click the green check mark so that everything's okay. Um, and then for the next one, we're going to take this pin and we're going to push this pin in. Now, I don't want this to have any degrees of freedom. I don't want this pin to rotate inside. I want this to actually be attached to the selfie stick. So I'm going to use fasten again. And we're going to use the fasten mate again. And we're going to add a little bit, probably a little bit of offset, unless we can try to get the middle of this actually pressed. We'll try to get this flat surface uh, up against this, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to click fasten. And I'm going to make sure that I can click the cent. Let's try this because I know you can click up here, but you might also be able to click down here as well, too. And this is probably going to be the smarter one to do. So I'm going to click on this fasten point down here, and then I'm going to move over to this circle. And I'm going to click on the center of this circle. Now I need to flip it over again, but you can see that since I clicked on the inside, I don't have to worry about like adding any limit or offset to this. It's just fastened in place and that's exactly where it's going to be. So we are almost done. There's only one last thing that we need to do. Uh, to get our selfie stick functional, we're going to need to fasten this side to this side. So we're going to use the uh, fasten mate. Oh, looks like I already had it clicked on. Uh, we're going to click on the fasten mate and we're going to click on the bottom of this a uh, little assembly design, I don't really know what that is, and we're going to, I guess we'll call it a holder, and click the bottom of the holder, and then we're going to click the bottom of the shoe and put it in place. It's upside down, click the flip button, and then hope that everything actually works out. Um, looks like I, oh, maybe I canceled that. Uh-oh, 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 hang on, let's uh, go back here. I had this fastened, um, so that means that whenever I move this, everything should move along with it. So something is not wanting to go whenever I click on that, which is weird because whenever I click on this, the whole thing moves. And then whenever I click up here, everything should go along with it. Let's try it again. Let's just see. I'm going to click fasten. I'm going to click on the bottom of this. I'm going to click on the top of this. And everything should come up here. But it looks like only the bottom part of that assembly is coming up here. Well, um... I'm going to click OK. Maybe Oh, there it goes. If I just click OK, it looks like the rest of it follows along. There we go. It didn't all immediately want to do that. That was a little confusing. So hopefully uh, it doesn't do the same thing for you. It probably will. So if it doesn't look like everything's following, go ahead and click OK anyway, and you should get your selfie stick assembly. You can check and make sure that everything works out the way that it's supposed to. You should have joints that are moving. Like you can slide this in and out, and you can also slide this back and forth a certain area. And you should be able to take this screw, and you should be able to move this screw and slide the selfie stick. So now that we've got everything set up for our selfie stick, we are good to go. The trauma is over, and hopefully your teacher will let you submit uh, whatever you guys made. If you're on a Chromebook, I am so very sorry. This was a trial and an endeavor and congratulations for getting it done. Uh, Y'all have a great day, and I will talk at you later.